Have you ever heard of wearable technology, but you weren't quite sure what it meant? Um, today, I am going to share some of that information with you and tell you some ways that wearable technology can help you in everyday tasks. Thank you to Guiding Ohio Online for allowing us to bring this resource to you. So wearable technology is simply things like a fitness tracker, a smartwatch, um, or a safety wearable. There are a lot of other things that are involved in these categories, but these are the basic ones. And today I'm going to start out uh, giving you some information about what smartwatches do. Maybe not specifically about the best brands to buy, but just information about the wearable technology itself. So smartwatches, they come in all different shapes and sizes, as you can even see here in the picture. Um, there are Apple watches, there are Samsung gear, there are all different types of wearable watches that you can use. One nice thing about them is they will sync to your phone. Um, some of them are just like wearing a small computer on your wrist. Um, you can see notifications on your wrist from information from your phone. Some people will use them as a fitness tracker. Um, and the average cost for them is about $200 and up. Depending on the features that you choose for them um, and what you're going to be using them for will determine the price of the smartwatch that you're going to use. This basically having a smartwatch keeps you from having your phone on you all the time. You can use it um, for upcoming appointments, things like that right on your wrist rather than having to pull your phone out to do that thing. So it's a kind of a small computer and a watch in one. The next type is a safety wearable. Now there are all different types of safety wearables, but the, the main idea behind this is it's a device designed to help you um, feel safe in a situation, whether it is you're walking down uh, a dark alley or something like that, uh, it will help help you feel safe and when you're in threatened when you're threatened or endangered. Um, sometimes they are designed like jewelry, maybe a ring or a necklace. Um, there are also alerts that are safety wearable for wearables for like at home uh, for a safety alert. And maybe if you're a fall risk or you just want to have a safety button for health reasons, you would just push the button and it will send the alert to others, uh, probably the emergency response system. And it could even respond to a family member, um, gives them a text or a phone call. There are some wearables that you can push and it will sound an alarm. Like I was talking about, maybe on a dark street, you feel alarmed, you can push that and it will send an alarm. Some of them have built-in GPS systems so that your family knows where you are or you can have information out there for police or friends to know your location. But that's basically what the safety wearables are about. The last category that I wanna talk about are fitness trackers. And of course, fitness trackers come in all shapes and sizes also. There are some that you can add onto your socks or shoes. There are some that you can wear on your wrist. Some of them even look like a smartwatch the way that they're shaped. But the way you can use them is you can track your number of steps in a day, maybe your average heart rate, how long you sleep, and then even more information can be inputted into this device depending on the device that you choose. The data is synced with another device like your computer or your phone. Um, and then you can keep track of all of these things um, that you're looking for to keep track of for your health. Some of them even have items on there besides steps and maybe your water input. Um, exercise routines, those type of things. And that is what a fitness tracker does. Um, you can get an uh, expensive one, some that cost around $50 or at least expensive and on up uh, to almost the price of a smartwatch. So depending on how you'll use your tracker, 
um, or the way you'll use a tracker is um, up to how much you want to spend on it. One more thing that I want to talk about is the pros and cons of using uh, wearables. A pro is you have the ability to monitor your fitness level, track your location with GPS, view text messages more quickly. Um, it also allows you to do all of these types of things hand free, hands free. You don't have to be holding your phone or device. Um, it is portable. And then it basically keeps you from having to pull your phone out of your pocket to check it. Um, wearables are connected to our smart devices, uh, allowing us to view information later and keep track of the data. It also will help with setting goals and tracking your progress towards your goals. So there are a lot of really good pro pros for um, wearables. So here are some of the cons. Wearables tend to have a fairly short battery light life. Some are um, simpler trackers like a Fitbit tracker. It will last several days, but some of the more advanced ones, maybe like an Apple Watch or something like that, it will only last a day and then you have to charge it. So depending on what you're using it for and how you're using it will determine the battery life. Um, another con is you have to take your wearable off to charge it. You can't charge it on your wrist or in a necklace or however you have it, you have to charge it on a battery. And then sometimes it measures the, the data incorrectly and it's not um, perfect as far as keeping that data. Many wearables tend to have little to no security measures to keep their data safe. The fact that much of the data is unencrypted and most of these devices are using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connections to transmit data means cyber criminal criminals can get their hands on it pretty easily. So it's important to consider how this information becomes big data to be collected and used by com companies and governments. This means whether or not you like it, your tracked information could be used for marketing or health purposes. There are positive ways this information could be used, but as well as big data, there's also a chance that it could be misused. So remember that um, most of the data that's available via wearables isn't valuable enough for hackers to pursue. So that is one good thing. Um, but in the future, I don't know what that holds for us. So just keep that in mind when you are using a wearable. I've also put some best reviews for different types of wearables on this last slide here. Uh, I looked up the best fitness trackers of 2021. If you're looking for something like that, that would be a great place to search for one. Best reviews overall for wearable trackers, the best smart watches for 2021, and then also there is a link for best safety wearables. Now, these are really long links and they might be hard to follow from here, but if you just Google searched it in those categories, it will give you some pretty good resources on some of the best items for you to use. So I hope that the information I share with you is valuable and good luck with your wearables.